Hey there guys, how's it going? So, just got back from a trip to the theatre, went to see two movies today. Uh, <laughs> the first movie I saw was that, uh, that terrible, awful Aladdin remake, man. I mean, that movie was just, it was a travesty. It was, it was just as bad as, as we all knew it was going to be. I mean, just absolutely terrible. You know, less said about them, that movie, the better. And the second movie I went to see was this movie, Godzilla, King of Monsters, which is a a direct sequel to the 2014 Godzilla movie. Now, I was unsure what to think about this movie going into it, because the 2014 movie, Godzilla, I went to see that one at the theatre too, and I've got to be honest, I wasn't really a big fan of that movie, because my main issue with the movie now obviously um the special effects were really good and you know godzilla and the stuff he does in that movie was quite entertaining but the problem i had with it is the movie's called godzilla yet godzilla in that movie got very very little screen time it was like godzilla was in the background doing shit well <laughs> the movie wanted to focus on the human characters the human protagonists and stuff like that, and I didn't really like that about the movie, that really put me off it, so, yeah, that movie wasn't great, and I'm happy to say that this movie is considerably better than that one, now, um, because unlike that movie, where Godzilla seemed like a, like a side character in the background, in this movie, he certainly does take the lead, now, obviously, there are human characters who have their own thing going on, but, you know, the action sequences involving Godzilla and the sequences with him are not few and far between this time. He he does genuinely feel like the main character here. I mean, the movie starts and ends with Godzilla, is what I'm trying to say. You know, he's he's definitely the, the main character here. And the name King of Monsters in the title definitely reflects what goes on in this movie, you know, without releasing too many spoilers. And I I just have to say I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I know that online critics are bashing this movie, at least from what I saw. A lot of critics don't seem to like it. Um but I thought the movie was considerably better than the first one. I thought it was um really entertaining. It has some really cool special effects. The special effects were even better this time. The CGI is actually really good. Um the main antagonist of this movie is this giant three-headed dragon that comes out of the ice and is sort of like a rival to Godzilla. And the CGI and special effects on that dragon, it kind of reminded me of of um, the dragon from the Hobbit movie, Smog. It kind of reminded me of that really top-notch CGI and really top-notch effects. You know, it looked really terrifying, like really scary monster and very intimidating and very powerful too. And basically the gist of the plot is um, this eco-terrorist and um, accompanied by Vera Famiga, who's one of the main actors in the movie, um, they want to wake up these creatures one by one and use these creatures to, to sort of wipe out humanity because, you know, it's your classic fear-mongering environmentalist types who say humans are the problem and humans need to die and all that shit that we've seen in a lot of movies and um yeah they want to use these these monsters to wipe out the humans and yeah sort of um usher in a new age and all that shit but their plan obviously doesn't go very far you know it doesn't go it doesn't go as planned when they wake up this three-headed dragon which actually takes control of all the other monsters and gets them all riled up and Instead of attacking one by one, they all attack at the same time, and of course, Godzilla being the the king of the monsters, you know, the 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 the, the badass, you know, the baddest motherfucker out there, has to fight this thing and take it down, and it's just a blast. I really did enjoy this movie, man. Um, like I said, it begins and ends with Godzilla. He's the main character. He's the one that 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 the movie's more so focused on, and. The human characters in this movie, like I said, they feel like side characters, they feel like they're along for the ride, they don't feel like the main, you know, the main protagonists of the movie. And the action sequences are really good this time. There is a bit of shaky cam here and there, which I don't like, and a, a few quick cuts early on. But in regards to the battles between the monsters, there's lots of wide shots and lots of big, like, really good-looking CGI battles. And, and, you know, the fights between all these different, like, really... Um, unique looking monsters it just looks really cool to me and the the battles between godzilla and his main rival in the movie i've got to say were really fun to watch man this movie is really entertaining and in the credits of the movie it hints at a, a future movie that they're gonna do a, a 
Godzilla vs. King Kong movie, because as you guys probably know if you're watching this, um, this movie is in the same universe as the Kong Skull Island movie, which came out a couple of years ago. Um, they actually do reference that in this movie several times. I wasn't a big fan of that movie either. The, the, you know, that movie starring Samuel L. Jackson and Tom Hiddleston and Brie Larson and all that. And it, it was, um, yeah, a, a King Kong remake. I wasn't a big fan of that movie. I think, again, that movie had the same problems that the 2014 Godzilla had in the sense that King Kong was like a felt like a side character and the movie was focusing on like John C. Riley and Brie Larson and what they were up to and stuff and it wasn't really, you know, it didn't really seem focused on what the, the title character was up to so I wasn't a big fan of that movie and um, also I thought that movie, you know, that I didn't really like any of the characters I thought that there was a lot of forced humour in the movie, I just didn't really like it much but this movie I, I would put over that one easily, I, I, I really did enjoy this one so yeah, I'd give this movie a solid, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. It's a, it's a good movie, it's an enjoyable monster flick, if you like that type of thing. It's not a movie that you really want to take seriously. I mean, plot-wise, it's not really that strong, but it doesn't need to be. You know, the movie's about a monster who is a badass. A monster who wants to be the badass monster. You know, he wants to be the king, he wants to be the alpha, he wants to put all these other fuckers in their place. And that's what the movie's about, man, and it really works. And like I said, it sort of hints at a clash between Godzilla and Kong, which is going to be an interesting movie. And, um, yeah, when that movie comes out, I'm kind of looking forward to it. That'll be kind of funny. I hope they don't ruin it. You know, I, I hope it is about those two main characters and not about some human side characters that no one cares about. So, yeah, this was... It, it was a decent enough movie. Um, Acting-wise, I think everybody involved knew their role. They knew their place. You know, they didn't take it too seriously. They... You know, they all did a good job. It was just an enjoyable movie. It wasn't a, a, a terrific movie. It wasn't a great movie by any any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it's it's definitely not the best movie of the year. I would still say that without a shadow of a doubt, the best movie this year so far was John Wick 3. That movie was amazing. And um, yeah, this movie doesn't come anywhere near that. But if you like this type of movie, like, like a big CGI monster movie, I, I don't see why you wouldn't enjoy this. So... Yeah, I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. Pretty fun movie. Let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'm not going to be reviewing Aladdin. I, I don't even want to bother talking about that bullshit. So <laughs> yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and God bless.